Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just realized I hadn't done a pickups video in a long time, uh, like since my birthday. And I picked up some a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna start with some uh, smaller stuff, work its way on up. Uh, so let's start with, um, oh, let's go with uh, 360 games. Not a lot of retro game pickups because I'm slowly, I'm starting to realize that I have most of the ones that I want. So now it's just finding that occasional, like, oh, I gotta have that. Uh, so, let's see, picked up a few things. Uh, picked up this, which I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Focus, focus, focus. But it is the Xbox Live Arcade, Xbox Live Arcade Game Pack, uh, which it has Lumens Live, Geometry Wars 2, and Bomberman Live, so kind of cool. Um, this one, which this is actually a lot of fun, and I need to do a video of this because my son and I absolutely loved it. Uh, Sega Superstars Tennis. Uh, it also comes with an Xbox Live compilation disc, but that disc is scratched, so I need to get it cleaned. The game that I have been spending so much time on, just because it is still fun, and I am not willing to shell out for an Xbox One, Xbox Gold, and Killer Instinct, all just to play Killer Instinct. So I'm playing Mortal Kombat. Uh, if you have a target in your area, go to Target and look around in the video game section. There is a clearance spot, and they have a bunch of games for about five dollars. So if you missed some, some are good, some are mm, but like this one, Mortal Kombat, which has all of the complete edition, the additional characters, and blah blah blah. Five bucks. Not a bad deal. Fourteen dollars at GameStop, five dollars at Target. These games I picked up at a local pawn shop. Uh, Repicked up Soul Calibur IV. Uh, somehow I believe I traded in or something like that, and couldn't pass it up for three dollars. Uh, my son and I love playing this game. We don't play head to head. We just roll through the story. And he loves playing the Conquest, but I don't know if that one's in here, or if that's one of the other ones. Uh, two, I think, had two or three. Whichever one had the Conquest in it, where you had to actually like play through the different levels. By the way, apologize horribly for the backdrop. Uh, the man shed is in serious uh, transition. We'll call it transition. That's a nice word. Uh, the other PS3 game I picked up is Yakuza 4. Started playing this and stopped because I know that I'm gonna have some days off coming up and I think I'm just gonna sit and as uh, one of the guys from GFW Radio used to say, poop socket, uh, which is just sit and play and play and play. This controller for my birthday and this is one of the USB controllers that you can plug into your PC or Mac. Now it's a little finicky but it does work really well, especially with uh, said emulators. So, now I already have a whole host of Nintendo games, but it is nice to be able to just flip it on, grab the controller, since my computer sits on most of the time anyways. Two, count them, two new systems picked up. The first one, PS Vita. Now, I'm late to this, I admit it, but I have to say that this is just a gorgeous machine. Now, a lot of you probably know all about this, but I am new to this. I have a whole bunch of stuff built up on PlayStation Plus. So I'm having a blast, I'm playing Wipeout, Castlevania, Soul Sacrifice. Frobisher says, Frobisher says is a reason to buy this. If, if someone had shown me Frobisher says and just left, left me alone with it for about half an hour, I would have sat and played it for half an hour and be like, finally, I, where, just gimme. Where do I get one? Um, it's the just the, the Wi-Fi version. It's got a four gig card in here, so not terribly. Uh, eh. The screen on it, guys. There anything you have seen 
on film does not do this screen justice. It is a beautiful screen. Uh, I actually started watching, uh, it, it has Netflix on it, so I watched the Netflix and it's beautiful. But, the Vita. And it's an absolute blast to play. And the other new system is a shiny 3DS XL. And I got the nice black one. Music. And I've been having an absolute blast with this. There are a lot of the the a lot of games for this system that I haven't seen anyone talking about. And a lot of it might be that you it's really hard to get footage from this stupid thing onto YouTube. But this is this is becoming something that I just kind of carry around. And I've got it in my pocket and I pull it out and I'm like, alright, let's see, what did I how much far did I walk today? Alright, did they give me street passes? Which, coincidentally, no. Unless you're riding public transit or at a McDonald's, street passes are really not happening. I think I've gotten two actually like just in the wild. Like not specifically like going to a GameStop or walking around the mall. But there are the pickups. Uh, I also bought a host of Steam games because they were on sale. I bought Just Cause 2 because it was multiplayer. I bought two Humble Bundles because they were Humble Bundles. Uh, started playing uh, a few different games that I want to get some, some video of. One of them playing in windowed mode. Developers of games. If you are going to put your game on a PC or a Mac. Give it a windowed mode, please. For the, for the love of all that is right with the world, do us a favor. Just make it windowed mode, so we can have the window over here. But that's it. Uh, fantastic round of games and systems, and I'm pretty sure there's some stuff that I missed. I accidentally bought a game that I already own, so I didn't bother to show it to you guys. I'll probably be uh, giving that to somebody. Uh, and thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!